Hey guys, so recently I was working on a client project and came up with a solution for a card style that animated the text on hover as well as added a color overlay. So today I'm going to show you how to build something just like it. All right, so here's the example that I built out for my client last week. And what you see is it has all these cards and when you hover over it, the text animates up and it creates the color overlay on top. All right, so we're gonna set up our section here. I've already got a container with the inner container and I'm going to go ahead and add three more containers inside and change this to layout, grid, grid layout, three columns, um, just so that we're working with uh, a smaller card here instead of a full width. So. Um, first, what we're going to do is I'm going to add my global style for padding medium. Then I'm going to add a global style for border medium. And so what these are doing essentially is adding padding within my card. If we come to the spacing, you can see I've got one and a half rims all the way around on my padding. And then the border is adding half rim of uh, border radius all the way around the card. All right, so next we're going to add a background image. And I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and just grab one I've got in my library here. And we'll make sure that this is set to cover. Everything looks good. And then what we wanna do next is make sure that this box uh, is a little bit larger in size. So we're going to say minimum height uh, 250 pixels. Um, so it gives us something to work with. And then next we'll add in that headline block. And I'll change this to an H3 and we'll say um, this is a title. Um, and then next we're going to add flex on this container so that we can align our headline to the middle of it. Uh, and so we're gonna go to layout, flex. We're gonna change the flex layout to column. And then under alignment, justify content center and align item center. Now I am gonna jump into the headline again and zero out the bottom margin on that just so that it's accurately in the center of our card here. And now what we want to think about is when we hover on this card, what color do we want the overlay to be? So then we can decide what color we want this headline to be. And what I think I'm going to do is probably a darker blue overlay. So I think we can safely assume that we'll choose a white color for the text. Um, it should be easily readable. All right, so now that we've got sort of our core uh, blocks in place with our layout, what we're gonna do is start setting up the animation. And so how we're gonna achieve this is what we're going to do on its static state, we want this heading to actually be pushed outside our box and be not visible. Now, I will preface this and say there probably could be a better way to do this. This is the solution I came up with and worked perfectly for uh, my use case. And so what we'll do is we're going to come into the container block and we're going to go to our selectors and we're going to create a new selector for our heading. Now, if you remember, we have that headline block as an H3. So I'm going to choose and type in H3 as a new selector and hit create. So now you'll see my selector up here is my GB element container and H3. So I'm targeting the H3 inside of this container. So now what we're going to want to do is come on down in our H3 selector and create a new effect for transform. Because essentially all we want to do is say move this headline down so that it's outside of our container box. So we're going to translate Y because the Y axis is the up and down vertical axis. We want to say um, 275 pixels. Uh, so that gives us a 25 pixel cushion. If you remember our container uh, 
height we set as a min height of 250. So 275 is going to push that far enough down where it's not visible. Um, now if we did change the color of our H3, let's see if we choose topography, uh, you will see it's down here and is still in fact visible. So we need to make sure to jump back into our main selector, come down to the position, uh, let's see, somewhere up here, and we're going to choose hidden on overflow X and overflow Y. So now you saw our H3 disappeared because we don't want that visible until we hover over that card. So now if we jump back into our H3, I'm going to go ahead and revert that back to white or clear that out really so that it inherits the local style on the H3 itself. All right, so next on the container here, we want to set an overlay when you hover. And so uh, when we come back to our container, choose main, we actually want to go with the hover selector here and we're going to add a new background and we're going to say overlay we want this to be a dark blue but lighten it up a bit all right now for some reason not sure if i'm personally doing something wrong but whenever i'm doing something on hover i always have to add in that background image again. I'm not sure why the background image doesn't inherit automatically like the rest of the styles, um, but it doesn't usually for me. So now that I've added the gradient in the image, I need to just swap those out so that the image is underneath and the gradient is on top. So now you can see when I hover on that card, uh, we've got a overlay effect. Now we, what we need to do next is make sure we're pulling in that headline block to animate from the bottom and come to the center. So in order to achieve this, we need to once again set up a new selector to target. So we're going to say new and what we're going to do is say hover and then do H3 with the right caret. So this is saying on hover we're going to target the H3. So we go ahead and create and what we want to do is come down again to effects and we want to create a new transform. Now this transform is going to be 0, 0, 0 across the board because essentially we want that to come back to its original position. So now if we hover you'll see the title appears. Now you could leave this as is if you like that, um, but I'm going to go ahead and take an extra step and add a transition for it to come up from the bottom. So if we come in and we add a transition and we'll say about 0.33 seconds, no delay, um, and ease in out, we could see now our title is animating in from the bottom. Now if we notice when we let off of the hover, the text just kind of disappears instead of animating back down. So what we can do is come back into our selectors and go to our H3 and we can go add a transition just like we did on the hover H3 and let's add 0.33 seconds again, ease in out, and hover again. And now you can see that text hovers in, uh, slides up, and then you can see it slide down. Uh, we can even take this a little bit further, and when you come to uh, the transform, and again, we're still on our H3 selector, and we choose opacity of 0%, so when it's outside the box, it's invisible, and then when we come to our hover H3 and set the opacity to 100. Now we can see it sort of fades in to 100% opacity and fades out to zero. So we can go ahead and hit save and we'll view this on the front end just so we can see. Again, hover and the animation. So that was a quick tutorial on kind of creating this cool hover animation effect 
on a card using the generate blocks UI. I know that with the new selector system, it can be kind of confusing what you need to target, how you should do it. Um, and this is just one approach that I wanted to share with you that I achieved recently on a client project. Thanks a lot for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel for future videos.